In this video, we'll find the number of atoms in CH3COOH. This is acetic acid, and it's written this way for a very specific reason. This COOH, this is carboxylic acid, so that's what makes this an acid. Sometimes you'll see it written like this. You'll see it written as C2H4O2. Each one of these has the same number of atoms, just a different way of writing it. I like this way because it shows you the carboxylic acid, which makes acetic acid an acid. Let's figure out the number of atoms. So we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. For the carbon, we see there's nothing written after the C here, so we just put a 1. We have 1 carbon. Hydrogen, there's a 3, 3 hydrogens. And then we're back over here. We have another carbon, so we have 2 total carbons. For the oxygens, we don't have anything written in our subscript. Assume it to be 1. Same here. So 1 plus 1. We have two oxygen atoms. And then we have the hydrogen out here. This is what actually dissociates to make it an acid. So we have one of those four hydrogen atoms. To find the total number of atoms for CH3COOH, we just add these up. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 2. Eight total atoms for the acetic acid molecule. Sometimes you're asked to figure out the number of, for example, carbon atoms in one mole of acetic acid. To do that, you just multiply the number of carbon atoms, we have 2, times Avogadro's number. 2 times Avogadro's number, that gives you the number of carbon atoms in one mole of acetic acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.